From WLWT, this is Issues. Hello, welcome to Issues. I'm Jan Michelle Lemon Kearney of Sesh Communications and the Cincinnati Herald. We have a lot going on today. First of all, a little bit later, we're going to talk about seasonal employment. I mean, there's some great jobs open that you can do over the holidays, get that extra money. We're going to talk about that. We're also going to talk about the Small Business Administration, all the great programs they have. There's an office right here in Cincinnati, so you definitely want to stay tuned for that. First, we're going to talk about happy birthday to Southern Baptist Church. Southern Baptist is 100 years old. And we have Pastor Robert Baines here. So excited that you're here and really excited that Southern Baptist turns 100. Thank you. Thank well, you for welcome. Us. Welcome to Issues. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So I know you've only been in Cincinnati about eight years, right? Yes. But let's go back 100 years. Tell us a little bit about the history of Southern Baptist. Well, my understanding, of course, I wasn't here 100 years right, ago. Right, right. But the record is... You weren't is, here anyway 100 years that's ago, That's exactly right? right. The record is that we started in the West End, and the West End, I understand, was a predominantly black community at that time. 75 came through, and you had a lot of displacement of the people, especially the churches, uh, right. that were located there. Yeah, I was going to say, my dad had a doctor's office on Clark Street, and he was so hurt when the highway came through and they had to take his office. But he moved to Avondale, Southern Baptist moved to Avondale. Yes, so, yeah. yes, yes, yes. So we came to a place that used to be a Jewish synagogue. And so uh, as blacks came to Avondale, Jews moved to other places, and they left us these large and expensive <laughs> and beautiful I was going to say buildings. beautiful, though. There yeah, you go. Southern there you Baptist go. is a beautiful, beautiful building. Yeah, it's yes. a beautiful church. It's huge though. Yes. Yeah, very stately. And right there on, on Reading Road, and I Lexington. guess that's Lexington, that's is a correct. side street. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so wow, 100 years later. So now you're having a big celebration. On Sunday, the 19th of November. Okay. At 4 p.m. Okay. Uh, Bishop Michael Mack is going to be with us from the uh, New Friendship. Okay. Baptist Church cool. right up the street. Yeah. Long history of those churches fellowshipping with one another. Right. So we're looking forward to that. Wow. So any other activities around the uh, around the centennial? The, well, I know that there's talk of a T-shirt where we'll show our Southern Baptist Church gear. Okay. So the day of, you know, we got to be spruced up for the anniversary. Right. Uh, but on the 12th, we'll be wearing our Southern Baptist Church gear. Okay. Uh, we had a beautiful historic exhibit on uh, last Sunday, uh, which was great. Uh, but the biggest thing that's coming down the pike is Sunday the 19th at 4 o'clock. Okay. Uh, and it's really just a time to celebrate how the Lord has kept us as well as challenge one another to know to whom much is given, much is required. Right. That if the church is 100 years old, then we ought to be having a 100-year-old worth of ministry right. uh, going on. Right. So that's at 4 o'clock, November 4 19th. PM. 4 and I should say, Southern Baptist does a lot in the community. Um, yes. First of all, the church itself, there's, there's a daycare center there. Yes. Um, there used to be a school there. I don't know. Is, it, is the school still there? School no, the school is not there. school's not there anymore, but the right. daycare is still there, the, the kind of a preschool. Right. We're actually renting the facility to small businesses. Okay. And so we're happy to hear about the SBA's uh, yes. presentation yes. coming. Yes. Uh, and so we, the church, got out of the child care business. Okay. But thankfully, we had members of our church who were in the child care business. Wonderful. And so we're able to kind of incubate and that kind of stuff for them. And that's a wonderful thing, I think, a kind of a business model for churches because there are a lot of old churches with these huge edifices yes. and um, community people need those spaces. And so yes. that's a really nice partnership. Yes. So, and I know that um, you have a lot of activities there. Um, I've been there for like tons of board meetings and I know Dr. Cornell West spoke there, yes. but you know, last month. So there's a lot that goes on. So how do people get in touch with Southern Baptist? because it's such a great location. Uh, probably the call. Okay. Uh, Secretary is there Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. The phone number is 221-8138. Okay. 221-8138. You already know to say it twice. Thank yes. you, Pastor Babe. <laughs> You've been paying attention. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. Uh, so, you know, we're on the net and what have you, but probably the easiest thing to do is just call the office. Okay. And so for those looking for a church home, why, why recommend Southern Baptist? I think we have a track record of being more than just talking about pie in the sky. I think mm -hmm. we're very serious. We have a core group of people who are extremely serious about kingdom of God being now. 
being involved in the community, uh, helping people, as well as helping the members. Uh, so, you know, we believe that God is not just concerned with you praying and worshiping on Sunday, but your happiness, your health, your wealth, your relationships, your contributions to society, all fit within what we talk about when we say discipleship. And I think if you put anybody on the couch, everybody has an interest in being happy, healthy, and wealthy. That's right, yeah. We want relationships. We want to feel as if our life meant something when we die. Right. Uh, and I think they'll find very intentional preaching and programming to those ends. That's right. And one thing I've noticed about Southern Baptists over the years is, is there's a really strong youth ministry. Mm. Um, I know um, Susan Russell, who was head of our of yes. my daughter's Girl Scout troop, yes. ran the, um, I guess, uh, Sunday church for youth or, or youth church. Yes. And so I thought that was wonderful that, you know, that I really like when I see churches that have something special for the young people, because you really want to raise them right. Yes. You know, and they want to, you want to start young. And even for the teens, there was a lot going on with them as well at Southern Baptist. So I think that that's very strong. Yeah, thank you, thank yeah. you. So now, so church services when on Sunday? We have two services on okay. a normal Sunday. Uh, we start at 7.30 and 10.45. 7.30 in the morning. 7.30 um, in the do morning. Do we get breakfast with that, with that service? Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, all right, let's Rare think about from it. heaven. <laughs> Danishes right. from heaven. Let's think about it. Okay. <laughs> so, right. so at 7.30, though, you're normally going by 9.15, so that's one of the great attractions. Yeah, get so up, yeah, get your worship on, and there then you, you go. get your whole day, there you right? Go. Okay. There you go. So 7.30 and then at 11. The next one is at 10.45. At 10.45, okay. And that's normally gone by uh, 12.45. Okay. Yeah. So you aren't doing like the all day Baptist oh, thing. No. Okay. No, <laughs> all right. No. Okay. There, there's another plug for Southern there Baptist. There you go. Okay? There you go. And, it's, and you're a wonderful minister. I've actually, I've actually heard you preach and you Thank are you. really, really dynamic. So we encourage people to go and definitely November 19th yes. to celebrate the 100th anniversary of Southern Baptist Church. Just uh, an icon in the Avondale community, an icon in, in Cincinnati. And so thank you so much for coming. And thank right you. here on the screen, Pastor Baines, if you want to read what Jeff has up there for us, just to make sure everybody gets it. Very good. Out loud? Yes, please. Okay. The 100th <laughs> year anniversary, Southern Baptist Church, Sunday, November the 19th at 4 p.m. Southern Baptist Church is located at 3556 Reading Road. And our phone number is area code 513-221-8138. Okay, thank you. And you know, 2218138. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. It's been a thank pleasure you. to have you. Thank you. Thank you for all you do. Oh, we, yeah, I just love you guys. I mean, you, you're just fantastic. So we love Pastor Bain. So stick with us. We'll be back in a moment to talk about the Small Business Administration. Welcome back. I'm to Michael Bobo, and I am here today with the U.S. Small Business Administration, and I'm here with Mr. Glenn Clevenger, the branch manager, correct? Good morning. And I'm here with Ms. Nicole Picard, the lead economic development specialist. Thank Good you morning. so much for being here today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am us. super excited about this segment because I myself want to one day be a small business owner, so I think that finding out this information now is going to help me out. You bet. Tell us a little bit about the Small Business Administration. Well, the agency is a federal agency mm -hmm. founded in 1953 by President Eisenhower to help promote the growth and foundation of small businesses. Wow. You know, half of America work for a small business. And two of every three jobs in America come from a small business. That makes sense. And so this is an important part of our economy. It is. And we help promote that and help it grow. Now, a lot of people may not be aware, but you all are actually have an agency office here in Cincinnati. We do. We're actually located right across Fountain Square at 525 Vine Street. And so I often tell people, please stop by. As a federal agency, we literally work for you. Wow. Does this service, do the services have, have a charge to them or is, does it differ? That's a great question. Um, they actually are free of charge. We do partner with other organizations who may uh, charge a nominal fee, but we always tell small business owners, see what we offer for free before you spend $1 in starting your small business dream. That seems like a good 
very good plan for small business owners because a lot of them, you don't have a lot of capital when you're starting out or you tanked all of your savings or your retirement into like to the fact that you want to do something new and you're interested in growing your business. What type of services do you all offer? Like what, what are some of the resources? Okay, uh, generally the SBA is, serves um, the community three, well, four ways actually. Okay. Uh, we call it three C's and a D of mm -hmm. the SBA. Uh, that's capital, helping businesses get money. Funding, okay. that's always good. Yeah, it's always good. Uh, consulting, counseling, so we provide free education programs, and then contracting, which is federal government contracts. We help uh, small businesses get federal contracts. That's and then amazing. the D is disaster loans. Okay. Say it again. Disaster loans. Oh. We help people uh, get disaster loans, like the, the what's going on today in California and Puerto Rico and Florida. So if you have a small business in that area, and something a natural natural disaster happens, right, this helps you out, right, to get back on your feet to start your business up again. That's exactly right. And as a matter of fact, because there have been so many back to back disasters recently, yes. the agency is reaching out to the public. There are disaster assistance jobs that are available. So you can go to our website at sba.gov, just put in SBA disaster jobs, and you will get information on how you can perhaps contribute to assisting with those efforts. Are the programs and some of the educational items that you offer, are they classes? Is it something that someone has to sign up for? Or do you offer, offer them regularly throughout the year? We, we, we do a variety of things. Um, Glenn puts on a great uh, access to capital class. He actually goes out into the community. We also have classes on site at 525 Vine Street. Mm -hmm. We even do webinars. We actually even partner with other economic development entities to co-collaborate, if you will, and get a broader audience. But the goal is to deliver the message of what SBA does. That is to help small businesses grow, expand, and even uh, sell your goods and services internationally, if that's what you're interested in. I like that. Yep. Let me ask you about the fact that there's something big coming up at the end of November. Mm. What is, what's coming up that you all want to tell us about? Cool. Small Business Saturday, November 25th. Small Business Saturday is an opportunity for individuals to support small businesses in their communities. And to the small business owners, please go to our website and Google Small Business Saturday mm -hmm. and you will find a plethora of information, marketing materials that are absolutely free. You will be able to find so many interesting things that will help you promote your business during the holiday season. Small Business Saturday is November 25th and we always believe that if you support your local economy, you're supporting yourself. That is a very good point. We're going to also give a link um, to your website on WOWC.com. Let me also find out from you, is this specifically for retail businesses only? Or if I own a website or something like that, do you all still help with those type of entities as well? Virtually any kind of business can get our assistance. There right. are some restrictions when it comes to the loan funds. Yes. Okay. But uh, those are limited, They're not very uh, great. So almost any kind of legal uh, business is uh, able to get help. Um, and Nicole mentioned uh, something I wanted to mention uh, at Lebanon. on. Uh, we work with partners a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, SCORE is one of our partners mm -hmm. here in town. But also the Small Business Development Centers here in town and other uh, uh, agencies like that helping small businesses get the word out and help those businesses. Perfect. Let us get a, a way for people to contact you by the phone. What's the phone number that they, think they can call? Area code 513-684-2814. All right, great. Give me that number one more time. Area code 513-684-2814. Call us, visit us. We want to help your small business journey. Thank you so much. Thank you both for being here today. I think that you get, provide us great service for the community. We'll be right back with more Jam Michelle. Thank you. Thank you.
Well, it's November, so you're thinking, hmm, holiday shopping is coming up. Maybe you could use some extra cash. We're going to talk to Amy Glazer from ADECO Staffing Solutions about how to get seasonal employment. And we should talk about just temporary or part-time employment in general. Absolutely. So welcome, Amy. Thank you, Jan. So tell us what's available for the holiday season and how soon do people need to start thinking about that? So they need to start thinking about it yesterday. Okay. <laughs> there, there are tons and tons of jobs available, literally thousands in the northern Kentucky Cincinnati market. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah, yeah. most are related to the e-commerce warehouse sector. We're also seeing a lot of uptick, obviously, in retail as they get ready to stock the shelves right. for the holidays. Well, let's break that down. So the e-commerce sector, what, yep. so, so what? That's like online shopping? And yeah, so all of your online orders that you're placing in Kentucky specifically, we have a lot of warehouse workers that are ones actually packing and shipping okay. those boxes to your home. So, so, so we often don't think about that. Like we order things online right. and somehow they magically appear at the door. Exactly. So, but yeah, but they're like, a lot of people who are working to package those and ship them out. Yes. So those are those are. I mean, that's really that that's good work, and it's probably like various hours that people can work with. I mean, I'm thinking like overnight kinds of things, like flexible hours. And you know, employers have become really, really creative due to the low unemployment rates and trying to be really flexible in attracting top talent. Okay. So I think candidate job seekers are gonna find that a lot of employers are willing to work with their schedule. So lots of part-time, weekend only to attract students, oh, late good. nights, and, and some have, you know, 12 hour shifts, five days a week, right. so a wide variety. That's really great. So, um, okay, so the warehouse thing sounds like it's physical labor. Are there some jobs that don't require for someone who says, oh, you know, I'm a little older, or maybe you know, my legs don't work as well. Are there some jobs for folks like that too? Absolutely. Um, we have lots of clerical opportunities, even with the e-commerce sector. So you okay. have to think when your package arrives and it maybe just wasn't the right fit or size and you have to call a customer service agent. Okay. Those are traditionally seasonal temps oh, during okay. the holiday season. That so. sounds like a, a really fun job. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I mean, yeah, you can sit and talk. Now, what about working from home? Do you have some work from home jobs too? Or? Often in the call center space, we absolutely have work from home opportunities as okay. well. So oh, that's really good. you also this time of year can find some data entry, um, lots of lots of other opportunities. Okay, so tell us about ADECO. How do we get in touch with you and, and, and how does that process work? Yeah, absolutely. So ADECO, we're the number one leading workforce solutions provider in the world. We have several wow, offices in the world. In the world. Yeah, very impressive. Yes. yes, and we have several offices here locally, both in Northern Kentucky and in the Cincinnati Metro and, and across Ohio and Kentucky as well. Wonderful, okay. Easiest way is to go to our website website, adecousa.com. And that's A-D-E-C-O. A-D-E-C-C-O. C-C-O, two C's, okay, two C's. A -D -E double C O. Okay. Yes, dot com. Um, okay. Specifically, if you're looking for seasonal opportunities, you can type in adecousa.com backslash work now. Okay. And they'll they'll give you the specific seasonal opportunities. Otherwise, on our website, you can search by skill set, location, um, and then you can always call our office and schedule an appointment to come in and talk to one of oh, our Oh, give recruiters. us that phone number. Yes, yeah. we actually have a 1-800 number to make it easy. Okay. So they can dial 1-866, the number 4-ADECO. Okay, tell us one more time. I okay. don't know if we have it up or not. Maybe not, just tell us yep. again. Okay. It's 866, the number 4-ADECO, A-D-E-C-C-O. Okay. And a recruiter will talk to you live and be happy to schedule you for an appointment. Wonderful, now any, any skill set that's really needed, like what, what are some of the top jobs that, that people should be thinking about? Yeah, so you you know what's interesting, Jan, is due to the low unemployment rates, prior experience isn't required for most of these seasonal oh, opportunities, yeah. especially in the warehouse and the retail sector. Okay. So we're definitely looking for great customer service, team-centered, you know, people that have teamwork and really want to want to work with that team. Right. Um, often, people that have worked in a fast-paced industry, so fast food, hospitality, translate really well into a lot of the seasonal opportunities. Oh, and just about everybody's worked in, in, in fast food. I know I have. I think everybody has. Yes, so that's, yes, that's I have really, as well. Yeah. yeah, that's really good. So now for someone, so for some people, that it's like, let's, let me make some money for the holidays. Right. Some people are thinking, I need to continue with this, with, you know, with the part-time work. What about that? Yeah, so the majority of our seasonal positions do offer some full-time opportunities at the end of the year. So if you show oh. up on time, have a great work ethic, work really hard, there are opportunities at the end of the year. Otherwise, on our website, our, we have several full-time permanent offerings, um, okay. and we have a lot of temp to perm, so a lot of employers, you know, may may have you try out for three That's months, That's a great idea, months. too, yeah. to, to see whether or not the person is really a fit for the yeah. job, and then it's if they are, they It's great for the candidate, yeah, they have the opportunity to preview, is this job really, really it for me, and where I want to spend my 
my time over the next couple right. of years. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, so I think in terms of people looking for seasonal employment mm -hmm. or like full-time employment, they should tell us again your, your website. Yeah, absolutely. www.adecousa.com backslash okay. work now. And you know, for two C's, and two C's, two C's, and also we're going to link you through wwt.com. And here's the number up. Okay, so tell us again that number, Amy. Yeah, it's one eight six six. The number four, a deco. And you're saying really we should have done this yesterday. So today would be a, a good a good second choice. I would, I, yes, <laughs> I would recommend you flood our phone number today. Right. We have opportunities literally starting this week in the Northern oh, Kentucky fantastic. market. So and people can get started Cincinnati. right away. Absolutely. And they can call. They can go online. They can find call, all kinds of skill sets from like no experience to to some experience. Absolutely, to professional positions as well. Okay, wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you it for coming. It was such a pleasure. Thank all you. All right, we'll see you soon. Okay, stick with us. We'll be back with to Michael with some community events. Bobo. First up we have the second annual benefit luncheon ten, at 1010 Chapel Street. It is Saturday, November 18th, noon to 3 p.m. and that is the Cincinnati Federation of Colored Women's Clubs. And this will be at New Vision United Methodist Church located at 4400 Reading Road. Tickets are $40. For more information, you can call 344-3435 or 386-9662 or 368-8108. Next up, it was a lot of numbers, <laughs> right? Next up, we have the Men of Honor annual event. It's a salute to African-American men. Saturday, November 18th from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. at the Hyatt Regency in Cincinnati, located at 151 West 5th Street. Tickets are $150. For more information, you can call 733-1555. Last up, we have Halibration 2017, Saturday, December 9th. Uh, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at New Vision United Methodist Church, located at 4400 Reading Road. This is free to all. There's a shuttle from Mercy Health parking lot, which is also like on Reading Road. And Holibration is coming up. It's going to be so fabulous. That's so much fun. Get all your holiday shopping done. That is just, oh, I went last year. It is packed. So many things to buy. A lot okay. of uh, vendors and small businesses. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Lots of vendors. Okay. So Jeff is telling me to hurry up. So I mm -hmm. need to talk about the Science Fair, November 11th by Docere. And call 550-5394. 550-5394. It's open to the public. Saturday, November 11th, Science Fair. All right. We want you to have a great week. Remember, you can get that part time employment with a deco so much going on have a great week stay safe and stay positive